Welcome to Online Tutor 09. So in this video, we're going to draw this diagram. Okay, so we're going to apply blending of curves and tangents. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is to make sure that your pencils are very sharp, right? So this is what I'm using. So this is 4B and this is HP, but I would I would recommend you to use 4H and some Adelaide pencil so that you can obtain a smooth diagram. So like always, first of all, we need to mark the center line. And make sure this is as faint as possible. Okay. And now, just going to mark the center. Right. Okay, like this. So, I want to start with these things. So, first of all, I'm going to draw a circle which has a diameter of 15. So a diameter of 15, that means the radius is going to be 15 divided by 2. It's going to give us 7.5, right? So I'm going to come to this point right here and draw a circle of radius 7.5, right? Okay, and I'm going to draw the big one, which is a radius of 12.5. Since the diameter is 25, so I'm going to draw a radius of 12.5 and come right here. And I'm going to draw the 6, right? So I'm going to go to the center point and mark a radius of 76. Come right here and I'm going to draw this one is going to be a construction line, right? And I'm going to draw another circle which is a radius of, of 50. So I'm going to come right here and draw a construction line. And I'm also going to measure 63 from this point. Okay, so we have a distance row of two lines which are offset to this line, the radius of Five, right that is going to be the distance so we're going to say 63 minus 5 and that is going to be we're going to give us 58 right so we're going to come to this point and draw and we're going to say 63 plus 5 and that is going to give us 68 we're going to take your 60 degree set square right and come to this point And draw a line like this one. I'm also going to do the same right here. Okay? Just make sure these are construction lines, right? So I'm going to pay in a radius of 13 and come to this center point right here. And if your measurements are very correct, it should touch the edge of this line right I'm also going to do the same come to this point and draw a cave like this one okay and after that take your pencil and use the 60 degree side draw something like this okay and make sure it's construction right I'm making mine is hard so that you can see okay and now come to this point and I'm going to measure pet right from here I know from my diagram it's 15 degrees, but that is a mistake. It's 30. And come to this point and also going to measure 30 degrees. Okay. And what we need to do is you can see we have a radius of 25 right here. So what we're going to do, we're going to come to your ruler. 
and open a radius of 25 white then come to where these two lines meet you strike an arc and strike an arc and also going to do the same right here you come here strike an arc come and strike an arc right okay then after that just going to open your canvas just more than 25 right come here strike an arc Come right here, strike an arc, come right here, strike an arc, come right here, strike an arc. Okay, now open 25 millimeters and come to this point right here, and outline right here. So we're going to come to this point. And outline right here. Okay. Then we're going to measure 65 from year to year. It's going to be 65, right? And we're going to Draw a vertical line right here, which is going to be a construction line, right? And the other thing that you have to do, since you said we're going to need 15 right here, so we're just going to bisect these two angles, right? So for bisecting, just come here and strike an arc. Also going to come here and strike an arc, right? We're just going to open more than half right here. And strike an arc right here, come to this point, and strike an arc right here, come to this point, strike an arc right here, come to this point, and strike an arc. <coughs> so the reason why my outlines are very dark is so that you can see what the video may not capture. Construction lines very well. Right. Okay, like this. So from here, you can see that you have two circles right here, the one here and the other one here, and they have a radius of it's actually a diameter of five. Of 10 right so that means the radius is going to be 5 so you have to make sure that your pencil can draw circles up to 5 millimeters you want to come right here and draw those two circles you have to be patient and drawing small circles but the smaller the circle the difficult it is to draw right especially when you don't have a good canvas okay so for the meantime you can stop right here and now what we are going to do I'm going to use that center point and I'm going to open a distance of 13, right? Distance of 13 and come to this point. So I'm going to come and touch this point right here and draw something like this. Also come to this point and and draw something like this. Okay. And now what we need, we need an arc right here. So this arc is going to be exterior, ex exterior arc to this circle and exterior. So if it is an exterior arc, what we do, we add the radius, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to add the radii. So I was going to say 8 
plus radius which is right here which is equal to 13 right and that is going to give us 25 right so after getting 25 what we're going to do we're going to open at a distance of 25 we're going to come to this point we're going to come to this point and strike an arc right right here okay and also going to come to this point and strike an arc so with the image that's where we're going to open eight right so just in addition of radi and after that okay now draw a smooth curve like this one okay so now we're going to come to this point right and we're going to touch those two points and we're going to draw something like this come to these two points so the distance is actually 10 if want to use the distance but i'd recommend you just to join those two lines right something like this okay i'm going to outline Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to open the canvas at a distance of 13, right? And I'm going to come to this point, right? And I'm going to strike an arc right here. And strike an arc. And I'm also going to do the same way. This line means I'm going to strike an arc and strike an arc right here. Okay? They need to come and just bisect this so we're going to open more than half right here and we're going to open more than half right here we're going to come right here open more than half and open more than half now we're going to open 13 again and when you come to this point we're going to draw a line which is going to join those two lines right okay like this and you have to outline okay then come to this point again and draw a line like this one okay then you can join those two lines right here Okay, as you can see. And now what is happening is that we need a cave which is going to join this line, which has a radius of 25. So the way we're going to do it, we're going to do it in a simple way. So I'm going to open 25. So I'm going to come to this line right here and just draw cave like this one and draw a cave like this one right here okay so we need to draw a line which is parallel to this line by distance of 25 so you can come and draw a cave right here and also draw a cave right here and also draw a cave right here and after that we're going to draw a line right here which is going to touch those two points or a line which is paper which is parallel to this line by distance of 25 right make sure that it's parallel and we're going, we're going to also draw a line like this one right so i need to cross check right here and see if it is 25 post it right here and see if it is 25 so the circle which is joining, you can see that it is exterior. So I'm going to say the distance right here is going to be 25. That's going to be 12.5 plus 25. So if you say 12.5 plus 25, we're going to get 37.5. So open your canvas, 
the radius of 37.5, right? And come to this point and just mark where it cuts right here. And after that, let's go to the original radius of the arc. And we're going to stand right here, that way. That's where it cuts the line, right? And we're going to join. And we're going to also join right here. Okay, like this. And if your eyes are working, you can see that we have finished this diagram. It's not only a matter of what lining. So if you haven't subscribed to Engineer Legend online tutor and certain and answer, we hope you do so. So thank you for watching.